Hello friends, welcome back once again to my video tutorial. This is Lipsa again with you. So, if you remember in my last video, I have described how you can write unit test case for your service layer by using JUnit and Mockito. And at that video, I have shown you how you can mock your repository layer while writing unit test case for your service layer. So, today in this video, we will learn how you can write unit test case by using JUnit and Mockito for your controller layer and how you can mock the service layer inside it okay so let's get started guys so this is the same example spring boot junit 5 mockito example i'll use this uh, project to demonstrate my today's topic so let me expand this project so here if i expand the src project and if i go to the controller package here i have the contact controller so inside this contact controller, I have few endpoints to save the contact, get contact by ID, to get all the contact list and to delete a particular contact. So today we will write the JUnit test case for these endpoints. Okay. So if you mark here, let's say save contact. So we have calling the service layer save contact method, contact service dot save contact. Similarly for get contact by ID, we are calling get contact by ID method of contact service. And to get all the contact list, we are calling contact service dot get contact list. And to delete a particular contact, we are using delete contact of contact service method. So while writing the test case for this contact controller, we will mock all these methods of our contact service. So how we can mock this, we will see in today's video. So without wasting many time, let me go to my test package here. So, I have created a package like controller. So, inside this, I will write the unit test case for my controller layer. So, here I have already created a class contact controller test. So, here if you mark, I have created a few methods and annotated it at other test as I am going to use this method for my test cases. So, first one is test save contact, then get contact by ID, get contact list, and delete contact. Okay. So now we will write our JUnit test case by using Makito and JUnit for our controller layer. So let me first annotate this class as at the rate wave MVC test. So why we use this annotation? I will explain you at the rate wave MVC test. Then inside this I will provide my controller class for which controller I am going to write the JUnit test case. So here in this case our controller is contact controller okay so let me put here contact controller dot class okay contact controller dot class so what does this at the rate web mbc test mean so this annotation initializes web mbc related configuration which is required to write the JUnit test case for our controller layer okay so it will used to write the JUnit test case for our controller layer. So here I have provided my controller contact controller dot class. So now what else? So now to writing the JUnit test case for this contact controller, we are going to mock the service layer. So how we can mock the service layer by using at the rate what mock bin. So at the rate mock bin and I will mock which one? I will mock contact service here. Okay. So that is also done and here I will use another uh, class which is mock MVC. So what is that mock MVC? Mock MVC provides the required method to test our Spring MVC layer. Okay. So I will inject the mock MVC here. So how we can inject a bin? By using at the rate auto layer. Then I will use what? Mock MVC. Okay. So now we will start writing our J unit test case for our save contact endpoint. Okay. So just mark here save contact endpoint. So to save a contact, if I go back to my controller, to save a contact, we need a contact object. Okay. So if I go to the save contact method, what happening? It is accepting a contact object and by using contact repository save method, it is saving that contact to DB. But here I will mark my service layer save contact method. Okay. So now I will create a mock object first. So I will create a mock contact object here. Okay. See here. So this is my contact object which has the ID, first name, last name, email and phone number. And mark this line. I hope you remember in the last video also we did something like this. When contact service.save contact method 
is invoked, then it will return my mock contact object. Understood? So it will return my mock contact object. Now how we can test our controller? So we will use one method of this mock MVC class. Just mark here mock MVC dot perform is there. Okay, this is the request builder. We will build our request for this save contact endpoint slash contact by using this mock MVC dot perform method. So just mark here. So mock MVC dot perform method. So this save contact is your what? Post mapping. Okay. So here we will provide post. Okay. So this is the post method. Now we will add our endpoint here. So here what is our endpoint? Slash contact is our endpoint. So I will provide the endpoint here. Slash contact. Okay. So now I will provide what? I will provide the content type and the request body. Here you can see this is my request body. Contact object. Okay. So I will pass the content type and contact here. So how I can pass? Just see here. So content type. Content type is nothing but my media type application dot json. Okay. So now I will provide the content. Content is here what? Content is here. Contact object. So this contact object I will pass like a json. So by using the object mapper. Object mapper. You can use the json as well. Json class here I am using object mapper write value as string method. To convert this one. Uh, sorry. U object mapper dot write value as string. Now I will pass the contact object to this one. So it will convert this one to JSON object. Okay. So it will let me throw the JSON exception here. I don't want to handle the exception. So close JSON process exception. So now the content is also we have provided to this endpoint. Okay. So we have provided the endpoint name, the content type and content. Now we check the statement. So how we can do this? See here. There is a method like dot and expect. So status dot is okay. Let me throw the exception as well. Okay. So just mark here. So, by using this perform method of mock MVC, so we have provided the method type which is post and the endpoint is this one slash contact and we have provided the content type which is nothing but application.json. Then the request body or content we have provided. So, this is our contact object. Okay. We have created a mock contact object. So, we have provided here the contact object as a JSON format by using new object mapper to try to value as string. So, it will convert this contact object to JSON object. Then what we are checking? The status is okay. So from my controller, it should return me the status okay. Understood? So now let me run this test case to check whether our test is passed or not. Okay, you can see, see here test passed. Test save contact method is passed. That means our code is executed correctly. Okay. So similarly, we can write for our get endpoint as well. So, let me just copy the whole things and put it over here. Then I will modify something from here only. Uh, okay. So, contact service, get contact by ID. I will change this method, contact by ID. Here I will provide the ID. Let's say this 100. Okay. ID is 100. Then return this contact. Whenever contact service dot get contact by ID method will invoke, that will return me this contact object. So, we are mocking the contact service dot get contact by id here okay so now mock mvc by using the perform method we can pass our method name then endpoint endpoint is contact slash id okay so if i go to my contact controller here i have provided path variable id okay so here also i can provide my id so here my id is what 100 l we can provide 100 l here so content type this one content is not required you can remove it or you can just give a empty uh, body because get method we can provide the empty body so let me just remove this line so and expect status is okay okay we are expecting the status will be okay uh, let me handle the throw the exception actually 
I don't want to handle the expression here. Okay, I'll throw this expression here. And I can check the content for this also. We are checking the status. We can check the content as well by using this one. It's master. This is also an important point. And expect here I can provide like this. Just check this line. I can use the JSON path here actually. How we can use JSON path and what is that? I'll show you here. JSON path. Here I will provide the path. So I can give here. Name. Let me complete this statement. I will explain you about this expression. Okay, so what is this JSON path and what does this expression mean? So Spring Boot actually provides a build in supports for JSON path that is helpful to verify your JSON response actually. So what I did here, so I am expecting the first name value must be Lipsa here. Okay, so if our code is written correctly for our controller class, then we can check this statement is correct okay so let me quickly run this one okay so our test get contact by id test case also passed understood so here we, by using the mock mbc.perform method we have provided our method type which is get here and the url and here we have provided the url variable which is id in this case and content type is application json and expect we are expecting the status will be okay okay and also we have check for a data by using this json path expression so it will check from this json response the first name value must be lipsa okay so this is nothing but how we can write a uh, unit test case for our get endpoint so now we'll check how we can write a unit test case for our get contact list which is nothing but this one get all the contact list slash contacts then let me create a contact list mock contact list here okay so this is my contact list so now in my get contact list endpoint i am calling contact service dot get contact list so i will mock this contact service dot get contact list in my test case so how i can mock so i can simply write when contact service contact service dot get contact list then what then return then return this contact list which i have created here this contact list so now i'll use the mock mbc dot perform get method isn't it so let me just simply copy the whole things and paste it over here and i'll change the method name is also get here and the endpoint name is slash contacts so it will not accept any variables so let me remove this one and expect status is ok so let me throw the exception here add exception ok and what is ok so and expect json path dollar dot first name is lipsa let me run this one and let's see i am getting any error or not here my test case is failed okay why my test case is failed here no value at json path dollar dot first name because if you mark here this contact list is a list okay in this case we are getting only one object that's why we write like expression dollar dot first name and it it work for us but here in this case contact list is a list so we can directly write like dollar dot first name here because it's a list so how we can check so we can check from the index we can write from the zeroth index first name so we have two object here right we have two object in this contact list so from the zeroth ob object first name here what is there if size there so it, it should work now so let's check it is working or not So now check my test is passed. Okay, test get contact list. Test is passed. Get tick is there. Okay, so this is how we can test our slash contacts endpoint. So now only one remaining that is delete a contact. So let me do one thing. So to delete a contact, 
here also we need a request body isn't it and we will delete that contact so let me create our mark contact here now is mark here how i can mark my delete method see here so do nothing when contact service start delete contact this contact is delete do nothing but this is how we can mark your delete method so whenever we are deleting this method mark here delete contact the return type is void okay so you can write mocking for your delete method or void method like this okay do nothing when contact service or delete contact method is invoked it is not returning us anything right so we we'll simply say do nothing so now we will check our de delete contact endpoint so let me just copy this one we will push here mock indices dot perform delete method is it it delete and here slash contact endpoint is there and it accepts a request body is it 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 accepts a request body so if we need to pass the content here Let's provide the contact dot content. I will pass the JSON content here by using object mapper write value as string. Write value as string. So I will pass the contact here. So this will. Let me add the exception. Yeah. Okay. So now my delete method is ready. Okay, so we have created a mock contact object here, and we mock this contact service to delete contact void method like this. Do nothing. We can mock the void method by using this do nothing when contact service to delete contact. Okay, now by using the mock mbc dot perform uh, method, we have passed our HTTP method type which is delete here and the endpoint. And the content type as well as content. Okay, here let me test this delete contact test case. Okay, my test case is passed for delete contact as well. Okay, so I hope you understand how we can write unit test case for our controller layer and we can mock our service layer methods. Okay, so we have seen for the uh, post method, get method as well as delete method. Okay. So I think you like this video please do like share and subscribe my channel see you in my next video till then thanks for watching thank you